Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this series, we are creating a quiz for our website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, I showed you how to create this main screen of the quiz. Now in this video, I'll show you how to create the start screen and the result screen. And then after that, we'll start with the JavaScript. So let's get started. <laughs> Let's start with the HTML for uh, the start button and also the result. So after this uh, quiz container division, let's go ahead and create one more division. And uh, we'll give it a class called quiz start container. So this will contain the start button for the quiz. And we'll also add some info of the quiz after the start button. So let's go ahead and create a button and we'll give it a class called quiz btn. And uh, here we'll type start quiz. And below that let's create a paragraph and we'll give it a class of info and in that we'll just type some information about the quiz so here i'll just type there are three questions you can add the number of questions over here according to your quiz and uh, then we'll type click on the correct option and uh, the result will be displayed at the end of the quiz all right, now let's write the HTML for the results. So here we'll create a division with the class of quiz result container. I have downloaded an image. So here, if I go to IMG folder, here we can see I have downloaded an image of a crown. And I just downloaded this from a website called pixabay.com. Now let's add the image over here in our results. So here I'll just type IMG. And for the source, I'll just type img forward slash crown.png. And here we can see the crown. And after that, we will just add an h2 and we'll just type congratulations. And after that, we'll just have a paragraph and we'll also give it a class of score text. And here we'll just type something like you have scored three out of three. And after that, we'll have a button and uh, for that we'll give it a class of quiz btn and in that we'll type retake quiz and we'll also have a close button so inside the quiz result container i'll just create one more button and uh, we'll give it a class of quiz close btn and here i will just type plus we'll add some css and we'll change this to a close button right now we need to make some changes to our uh, main screen over here now what we need to do over here is that when the user clicks on the start quiz button we want to display this main screen over here before that we want it to be hidden and even the result page should not be shown at the beginning so what we can do is that we can add a class called active to this main screen and when we have the class of active for this screen then the screen will be visible or else we'll be hiding it and I'll also go ahead and change the position of this to fixed so that it will always be in the center vertically and horizontally no matter what the size of the browser window is. So let's go to style.css and we'll make some changes to this quiz container. So let's go ahead and uh, add position and we'll set it to fixed and we'll set the left to 50% and top to 50%. We can see that now it starts from the center I think we have some margin we can remove the margin over here so margin 0 auto I think we can completely remove the margin because uh, we have added this left and top positions so let's remove this from here right now we can see that it starts from the center but we want the complete screen to be in the center so for that you have to transform and translate it to negative 50% for the X axis and also negative 50% for the Y axis. Now we can see that it is perfectly in the center and we have some problems with the width. So we have to change max width to width because we want to have a fixed width for our screen. So now we can see that uh, we have the correct width of 480 pixels and we can see that everything is working all right. Now when we don't have the active class for this quiz container, we don't want it to be displayed. So by default, we will set the opacity to zero and we'll also set the pointer events to none so that uh, 
we cannot click on any of those elements. Right now, let's go ahead and add a class. So we'll type quiz container dot active and make sure that you don't have any space between these two classes because we want both these classes to be in the same division. Right. So when we have the active class, we will set the opacity to one and pointer events to auto. So let's go back to our HTML and add the active class to quiz container and uh, let's see whether it is being displayed. So here I'll just type active and here we can see that our quiz container is being displayed on top of everything and uh, it is in the middle of the screen. If I make the screen bigger, we can see that it is still in the middle of the screen. Right now let's remove the active class from here and now let's style the start button that we have over here. So let's go back to style.css and uh, let's create a new comment over here. So here I'll just type start quiz. And if you go back to the HTML, we can see that we have named our class quiz start container. So let's go ahead and uh, target that over here. So we'll just type quiz start container and we'll set a width of 400 pixels and we'll set it to the center. So we'll just type margin zero auto and it is in the center. We just add top and bottom margin of 36 pixels. Let's bring this button to the center. So let's just type text align to center and uh, we can see that everything is in the center. We have this text also being text aligned to the center. All right, now let's add the font family. So we'll just type font family of open sans and uh, sans serif. All right, now let's style this button. So if you go back to the HTML, we can see that for the button, we have this class called quiz btn. So let's target that over here. So we'll just type quiz btn and we'll give a background color of D62828 and let's remove the border. So just type border of zero and we'll give it a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right and we'll set a width of 240 pixels and we'll set the font size to 16 pixels and uh, let's also set the font weight to bold and uh, we'll change the color of the text and we'll change it to white and let's set the border radius to 10 pixels so that we have rounded corners and we'll also add a border left of 10 pixels solid and uh, we'll set the color as black right now let's set the cursor to pointer so that when you hover over this we should have a different cursor so just type cursor pointer so now we can see when we hover over this we have a different cursor and let's also set a margin of 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and now let's set the hover effect so let's go ahead and type quiz button colon hover and when we hover over this we want to increase the scale so we'll just type transform scale of 1.15 and we'll also add a transition for smooth animation all of 400 milliseconds so let's hover over this and we can see that we have this animation all right now let's style this info so for the info we have a paragraph with a class of info so let's target that we'll type quiz start container and p dot info and uh, for the info we will have a line height of 2 so now we can see we have a lot of space between two lines let's see whether uh, font weight of bold will look good on this I think font weight of normal would be better so I'll just remove this so we have this info and we have the start button over here we're gonna keep this uh, start button and uh, this info text simple so this is all the CSS that we're gonna add for this all right, now let's style the result. So here, if you go to the index.html file, we can see we have this division with the class of quiz result container. So let's go ahead and target that. We'll just create a comment quiz result and we'll type quiz result container. And first of all, let's set the size of the image so that uh, we can style everything else correctly. So I'll just type quiz result container IMG and we'll set the height of the image to 100 pixels. Right now let's move on to style the quiz result container. 
so we'll set the font family to open sans and let's text align to center right now we'll position it to the center of the screen and we also want it to be fixed so let's start position fixed and we'll set the left position to 50 percent and the top position to 50 percent and right now it starts from the center of the screen so we want to move it 50% to the left and 50% to the top. So for that we will type transform, translate and for the x value we will type negative 50% and even for the y we will type negative 50%. So right now it is in the center of the screen. Now let's set a width of 400 pixels and now let's set the background color to white and uh, let's also add a padding of 16 pixels and uh, let's also set the box shadow so we'll set the box shadow to 0 4 pixels 16 pixels and negative 2 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 and we also need to add a comma over here right so now we can see that the box shadow is working all right right now let's style this close button right here so for that we'll type quiz result container and uh, we'll see what is the class for the close button so the class is called quiz close button so just type quiz close button now we need to set the position of this close button relative to the parent which is the quiz result container now here we have this position set to fixed for the parent so here in our quiz close button we can just type position to absolute and uh, we can set the right value to negative 16 pixels and the top value to negative 16 pixels and uh, let's also set the padding to 8 pixels and 18 pixels and uh, let's set the font size to 36 pixels and uh, the font weight to bold and let's set the border radius to 50 percent because we want it to be round and we'll also remove the border so we'll just type border of zero now this doesn't look like a close button so we have to rotate it so we'll just type transform rotate to 45 degrees well, now we can see that it has this close icon over here and we'll set the background to black or dark gray and we'll set the color of the text to white and uh, let's set the cursor to pointer and uh, we'll also add a hover effect for this so we'll just type quiz result container quiz close button colon hover and when we hover over this button we want to change the scale so we'll just type transform scale to 1.1 and we'll also add a smooth transition by typing transition of all to 400 milliseconds right now when we hover over this we have this animation and the button should not rotate so for that here we have to type rotate 45 degrees right now let's hover over this and we can see that it has the change of scale All right now by default you don't need to show this uh, result page so here for the result page we will set the opacity to 0 and uh, pointer events to none so that we cannot click on any of these uh, buttons and uh, we'll also add a transition all to 400 milliseconds and here we will add an active class so we'll just type quiz result container dot active just like we did with the quiz container and when we have the active class we'll set the opacity to 1 and uh, we will set the pointer events to auto Right now let's go back to index.html and uh, let's add the active class to the result so here we'll type active and now we can see that the result is being displayed and when we remove the active class the result is not being displayed now here for the result i have just added this uh, image for winning the quiz but if the user didn't win the quiz then you may have to add a different image over here you can go ahead and add one more image over here and give it a class one for winning and one for losing so you can display different images based on the result of uh, the user but as of now i'll just keep this as it is 
Now one more thing to make this quiz look even better is by adding an overlay for the background so that the quiz screen and the result and everything is displayed correctly. Right now we can see that the page is displayed clearly in the background. So we don't have a lot of difference between the quiz screen and the background of the page. So let's add a new division and uh, we'll give it a class of quiz overlay. And we don't need to add anything inside this. We'll style it in our style.css file. So let's go over here and uh, let's add a comment. We'll just type overlay and we'll target that over here. So we'll just type quiz overlay and uh, we will set the position to fixed and uh, we will set the top to zero, left to zero and uh, we'll set the width to 100% and the height to 100 viewport height and let's set a background color so we'll set the background color of red to see whether it is being displayed and we can see that it is being displayed so what we'll do is uh, we will add a z index to all these quiz elements so here for the quiz container we'll just add a z index of say 200 and let's add the active class to quiz container and uh, see whether it is being displayed all right so we can see that it is being displayed so let's remove that and we will add z index of 200 for the quiz result as well so here for the quiz result container we'll just type z index of 200 and we can see that it is being displayed over here right now for the overlay we don't want to have the red color we'll have a color with some opacity so we'll just type rgba and let's try this color right here 000, 000 and 0 0.2 and now we can see that we have this uh, overlay with this uh, transparent background color let's go ahead and adjust the opacity over here so let's change these values a little bit so i think a value of 8 would look nice or if you want you can even go ahead and change these uh, colors from here so you can select a different color for example if I select this uh, blue color from here and uh, I can change the opacity over here as well so in this way you can go ahead and uh, choose the color that you like but I'll just go with the black color and uh, let's set the opacity to 0 0.8 so that's basically it for this video we have created the result screen and we also have created the start quiz button and then we also have this overlay for the quiz so that's it for this video we will continue creating this quiz in the next video so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day